Hey, here we are. Okay, okay, I think we are now live. What's up everybody? How you doing? Hey, here we are. Just waiting for um, some people to sign in um, and jump in, and uh, we'll get it going. Uh, I hope everybody's doing good. So, if you want to just pop, um, just say hello and who you are and where you're coming from um, below, and. Uh, We'll just wait as people populate this. And we had a little bit of technical difficulties trying to get shit sorted, but we're pretty much there. Um, Jeremy. Here we go. Uh, yeah, just some, uh, some issues with, with Zoom and live stream. I'm just waiting for people to pop in. Who else do we got going on here? Uh, attendees, Wes, a lot of talk. Wes, what's up? Hello. Yo. Can you hear me? Yeah. There we go, man. Yeah. So is you doing the same thing before? Not allowing your uh, video to go? I don't see video. Okay, I'm not really. Oh, oh. No, it's saying no video. Okay, interesting. Well, we're having issues getting a uh, video up. So we're just going to. Uh, get it going so i'm gonna invite the rest of the guys on we're just gonna have to deal with it as is wait so can you see me now yeah there we go excellent so yeah so everybody that's tuning in we're having issues with with uh zoom allowing people to log in using their videos so we've got audio rocking and rolling so we're trying to figure it out on our end uh this is a first for me using zoom actually and for uh us using all this and it was working earlier. Oh, Wes, I got your video. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm good. I'm so good. That, why, how do we get that working? It just seemed to let me finally join in with video. It, it, it was restricting me before, but we're hey, good now. How about you? You get, or you get just chit chatting here, and I'll just. Uh, okay. Well, I was, I was kind of hoping that they weren't going to be able to see me, so I could bringing a two for at my foot at my feet but i guess that's not gonna work now so um thank you for joining in i guess i don't really see the youtube feed so i'm not sure how that kind of is working but from our end it's uh I'm, I'm monitoring it right now okay it's uh it's definitely a different kind of period of time when zoom is becoming the new normal and it, it's uh it's great that we're able to still do things like this and connect with people even though we're not face to face. Um, when Lee originally came with the idea, he wanted to, to do uh, a bunch of in-person viewings at different uh, venues throughout Nova Scotia and beyond. So this is uh, the best we can do for right now. And uh, I think having this forum or this avenue of having a Q&A with uh, some of the different people who created and, the cast that were involved is a it's a great opportunity for us to connect and learn and get feedback and also for you guys to ask questions um, that maybe you have about either the doc itself the creation of it um, the maybe some specific questions for some of the different cast operators um, the people involved that kind of thing or um, even specifically maybe to Cape Breton and what is the new norm and all those types of things that have kind of um, happened since the creation of this doc. The doc was really built to uh, 
try and um, expand the knowledge and um, interest in Cape Breton Island as a tourism adventure tourism destination. And of course, uh, tourism is changing and will be changing for the future. So yeah. um, that is kind of something that came out of left field, but uh, the documentary certainly captures um, the spirit of the adventure tourism community yeah. in and uh, Cape Breton, regardless of what, what the situation is. So. Yeah, and I'm, I'm on like, um, so I'm like monitoring, I'll be doing the admin stuff, like monitoring all the YouTube stuff. And uh, Carly um, was saying that that's kind of what she was worth Given us a lot of ideas on our first trip to Cape Breton. Oh, first. I missed that one when you read it. Yeah. So that's kind of what um, the whole project was supposed to. Well, hopefully that's that's what the project was supposed to do, um, was to kind of influence people and show people a different light on what's currently here. And uh, there's more to it than just driving around the Cabot Trail. So there's more... Uh, to visit and little nooks and crannies and sometimes it's very hard for smaller operators to uh to uh you know get some marketing out there and stuff like that but um but uh yeah i think we did well so and it really um promoted uh promoted a lot the island quite a bit so yeah i got jimmy here coming in um I'm trying to figure out how to get him working as a, yeah, we had a little bit of a mess up here, but yeah, so that's kind of what it was supposed to be. Um, and uh, really sorry about this, but we're having like issues trying to get video working for some of the crew. Uh, I'm just going to tell Jimmy to, so I'm not really accustomed to like how like this Zoom works with panelists and uh, attendees and what the difference is. So uh, we ended up inviting people to one and not knowing what that was on the other one. So I just literally paid for this the other day and now we're here hosting it, but yeah. So that's kind of what this document was meant to do is kind of like promote people and promote um, the island in a different light and bring people to different areas that you otherwise wouldn't have known about. Um, and uh yeah but if anybody has any questions about it we're just waiting for some people to pop on and um and then we're going to kind of like get into talking about the whole process but this was kind of like a uh, year and a half in the making uh this whole program so yeah, yeah. it's just about uh i was looking through old photos trying to make a post when i was deciding what post to make for tonight and uh really it, it kind of stemmed just about a year ago the concept i think lee brought to us much earlier but the planning stage was kind of not too not too much over a year ago yeah it was around uh uh when was it it was like january 2019 yeah january started 20. filming the first filming would have been in june yeah. middle of june because it was my birthday <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Angelo's on board. I'm trying to figure out how to get his uh, video work into. It might just be audio. I don't I know. I think, what... Angelo, actually, you can prompt your own video down yep. in the left hand I, corner. A little thing in the bottom corner that says, says uh, start your video. Yeah. And yep. Video settings, choose viral background and, and uh, select a camera. Oh, select a camera. Uh, so I can choose viral virtual background or go to video settings i'm gonna to go to video settings yeah it should just be uh if you're in a laptop should like mine is just a hd camera so yeah so my camera came on facetime hd yep. that's my only option um <laughs> night uh let's see mirror my video no it should just be the facetime one so everyone can tell we're not uh tech savvy we're enough. not making the, the the next facebook <laughs> all right oh yes Okay, so I did all I could do here. Oh man. Touch well. up my appearance. Wow, that's cool. Um, <laughs> all right. The documentary featuring technical difficulties in Cape Breton with Zoom. Well, maybe we should talk about some of the things that uh, that we ran into while we're uh, waiting. Yeah, man. So, so this film, um, 
So when you're, I guess we didn't really know a lot of it. We kind of like planned ahead of time and we knew that shooting in Cape Breton would have been difficult um, with not only uh, cell service, but also kind of like power um, and, and gear wise, like we were, you know, we could get charges here and there, but if we were out hiking, doing that sort of stuff, we had to plan for it and buy extra gear and extra batteries and do all kinds of stuff like that. So it was kind of a challenge in that aspect, but also a challenge with equipment as well, because we were kind of trying to do this on somewhat of a budget and being the first project at this level that uh, either of us has done before. Um, it kind of brought the light uh, gear. So one was like um, editing gear. So believe it or not, most of this project was edited on a very, very shitty MacBook Pro that I bought off the shelf at Best Buy a year ago. And, uh, and so when we were shooting 4K footage, um, <laughs> we had to, uh, I had to make, I was at Wes's, we, uh, in the end of the year, when the season shut down, uh, the end of 2019, um, we ended up going to Halifax, actually, no, down to Wolfville. So what at Wes's place in Wolfville. And I spent five weeks, 12 hours a day with two laptops making proxy files, which if you're not familiar with proxy files are, they're just a smaller resolution uh, video file that your editing software will read while you edit the program so your computer doesn't explode. So I spent five weeks straight, 12 hours a day, I mean, I went to yoga in between and that sort of stuff, but um, for the most part, yeah. Yeah, the only people in, in town that knew who Lee were were the proxy files and the yoga studio. Yeah, basically. So I went across the street <laughs> with the yoga. And uh, yeah, so that was like the first stage of editing this thing. Um, and then like when we traveled around the trail, obviously batteries were an issue. Charging was an issue. Uh, certain locations didn't have power and that sort of stuff so we had a plan for it um and also you want to like time especially with drone work was like trying to time uh the the time of day in the sunlight to um kind of like with your batteries and stuff so you had the drone up at the right time and that sort of stuff you didn't waste your your batteries when you're flying around so that was kind of like one of the biggest issues which kind of like it also had a crunch on it because we were um you know, a lot of the bigger shots and the crazier shots that we got almost didn't happen because of sunlight, because of timing, because either we were too hungover to even get out there and almost didn't go uh, and shit like that. So, um, but yeah, but again, like for people that are listening, there's a little bit of a delay. So it might take me for a minute to get back to you, but I'm going over the comments. Jamie, Jamie, what's going on? Uh, it's cool that you showcase businesses that operate in the outskirts of Cape Breton Highlands National Park. Most people have the misconception that Cabot Trail is the park. Yeah, man. Yeah, pretty much. That was the whole kind of point to this. And it was very hard to try to, uh, we wanted to feature so many different people in this project, but then again, we only had certain time and we kind of went down a list and then there was a lot of people that we wanted to get and we just didn't have time to do it to, to interview for it and schedules didn't meet up and that sort of stuff. And then, um, yeah. But, um, but I'll say this, that there's so much extra stuff that we didn't put in it that could be used for another project. So who knows? <laughs> Let this one be for now. Um, by the way, Bryson just texted me. He said he's given up. So uh, he said he's tried, but he's given up. He can't make it happen. So he might be on here on, he might be on YouTube. Um, I'll just email him back and say like, go on YouTube and start putting shit in the comments. <laughs> but uh yeah, he should yeah, just uh, he should zoom in on his longboard and maybe it will all work itself out. <laughs> I'll just um, uh, jump in the comments on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, yeah, there we go. But yeah, so that's kind of like the big one of the bigger challenges was was not only the the locations trying to film it, batteries, all that sort of stuff, but it was also like uh editing was a huge huge thing because it took a lot of time and plus being a project of this size and the fact that we were editing at like months after we shot everything and trying to remember what we shot and go through the footage and try to piece something together um was difficult and i think that bryson's interview 
that's at the start of the film. We kind of like interject pieces throughout the, the film was, um, was like, I think originally was like 15 minutes long. It was crazy. And it was so long. Like you could just watch 15 minutes of Bryson in, a, in, a, in like an interview. <laughs> it was so hard to cut that down. But, but sometimes that's the way she goes. Uh, what do we got? Use the extra footage for a web series. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's funny. The web series thing I brought up, that's kind of how it started. <laughs> Actually, it was like, uh, it almost started as a web series and then got put on the back burner. And then we ended up pitch. Oh, I was pitch this project to you guys, Wes and everything. And then we contacted Angelo and Jimmy and everybody and said, Hey, we're doing this project. And here we are. Can you hear me Lee? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. How's it going? How's the response towards it? I'm quite curious uh, yeah. on how many views. Uh, so, um, it is, so right now we were trying to do 500, uh, 500 paid, um, which would wow. be, a, which would be a good little, um, kitty for kind of like to help bridge everybody and help uh -huh. and stuff. But I think we're about halfway there and this is going on, it's a week and a half. Um, and now we're just starting to pump out the targeted ads now. Um, and do a little bit like this promo and a couple other things. And then, uh, but as far as views, see like a fam, like people can buy the film and like their family can watch it and stuff. So mm -hmm. the views are actually up a lot higher. I didn't look recently, but they're at least double that, if not more. Yeah, uh, the feedback I got was really, really good from, from a, lot of, uh, a lot of different people who saw it. Um, yeah, it was well done. The, the, the shots were incredible is what they said. A lot of people said that the shots were just beautiful. And I agree. It was, it was super, super cool. Yeah, man, it was, it turned out really, really well. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, yeah, <laughs> the response has been really good. I'll put it that way. So yeah, we were, it was very, um, um, you know, I, I didn't really know fully what to expect out of the whole thing. Um, how did yeah. you get those shots up on on the there was a there was a drone shot up in the mountain and you were coming in and you had all the tips of the mountains and it wasn't the east side i think it was more the west side uh the, the top of the west side and how did you get those like there was a beautiful beautiful shot of drone footage there it was it was my favorite shot of the whole thing was it with the uh the trees where does it, it was like the sunrise the mountains it? more the mountains and a face-on shot of the mountains coming in Oh man, I have to remember which one that one was right now. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, uh, I watched it and I, I was like, wow, those are, yeah, it was just really, really a nice shot, nice light. And yeah. Oh, it could it have been Cape Claire? Could have been Cape. Yeah, of course. Maybe that's where it was. I wasn't certain where it was. Did you know, Daniel, where it was? Those, those were definitely some of the, my favorite shots for sure. Yeah. We just locked out that day and it was, we were, contemplating going there that was kind of one of those mornings that lee mentioned earlier where it's like should we do this should we not it's kind of a gamble it's it's a lot of work to get nothing but that's what making a documentary is all about is you know taking the risk that you might show up and you might not use any of it or you might not even uh, get get any good footage uh-huh and that was one of those mornings we woke up at the crack of dawn and the lighting just we just nailed the lighting and timing of that and uh it all turned out really well yeah it was um yeah man it was there was a lot of those random there's another one um on tenerife mountain um that uh that like the night before we were uh <laughs> we had a couple drinks and then uh we were on our way hiking up uh but almost didn't make it almost didn't uh didn't make it up there but then we get up to the top and and i've got like 60 minutes of the because i was like <laughs> unsure about when the, the right light right, right light would be so the very first shot of the film where it's coming over the trees and the sun's coming up over the aspie bay that was from that was like the first shot that i got at like five in the morning um in october and then uh there's a bunch of other ones from up there that i got to um that didn't make the cut but um but yeah it was crazy just flying for forever and we had like one guy 
uh, Tom with us that uh, was up late with me. And uh, we got to the mountain. I think we left uh, Markland at like four in the morning to hike up Tenerife. And we had these, we didn't have headlamps. We had like iPhones in our pockets. Anyways, he was dragging behind. He was a little bit, I think, a little bit under the weather. And, uh, <laughs> and then uh, we had to make it for sunrise. So at one point, my buddy Sanjay was there and he's like, should we wait for him? I was like, man, the trail's here. We're going to the top. So we just like buffed it to the top. And uh, he ended up, if you know Tenerife Mountain, he got lost and was FaceTiming us because he was, face, he was basically rock climbing the front face of the mountain. And he's like FaceTiming us and looking at the other mountain. And, um, <laughs> and I was like, I could see where he was looking at the valley. And I'm like, oh my God, he's like rock climbing up the top of this mountain. So uh, I had to go find him. Oh, there's Jimmy. He got his audio video working. Hey, how'd you I was do that, Jimmy? I was able to make him a host. You just need to make him a host, Angelo. I made Jimmy a host. Somehow I was able to do that. Cool. Make me one. Jimmy might have to do. I can't make anybody one right now. I'm trying to get Bryson online because I'm, uh, I think that's the ID. Uh, Lee, if you go up to the three little dots where Angelo's name is, I think you might be able to make him a host. Yeah, one second. that's what i did with jimmy at least but it's not letting me do that with angelo for some reason yeah i can see jimmy that's clear nice background too but it's the wrong season i think <laughs> well so is mine <laughs> hey, jimmy, if we had if we had a shot we'd have snow in the backyard here <laughs> okay there's angelo as a host okay cool jimmy your mic's not on by the way uh i'm gonna see what this is going on in youtube if anybody's uh asking some questions in youtube angelo are you able to join now I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go here. I made Angela host. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you were able to. Make. Oh, there we go. Ha -ha. There we go. <laughs> Figured it out. Great. This is really exciting. <laughs> there we go. So, um, okay. yeah, anybody that's that's listening to this, if you have any questions about uh, not only this this project, but if you have any questions about um, ask any questions like specific questions about each person about their business um what's up coming this summer all that sort of stuff um feel free to pop a question there's a little bit of a delay again in when you type it on youtube from when i'll remember not remember it but read it and get it out there but uh that's just the way she goes yogurt, Reading yogurt. <laughs> if, if there aren't any uh immediate questions maybe we can just kind of create a little bit of uh go off of the structure you had there lee and then people can interject as they come in yep for sure that, man. that works you hear me my own oh, yeah. oh yeah okay. you're there jimmy i got a different type of yogurt though yeah <laughs> well i already <laughs> I took my uh garrison yogurt okay man you want to lead it last i'm just gonna sure. sort of thing up with rice and try to get him online Alrighty. So, um, I think probably the best thing to do here would just be to, to, for, I guess some people, I'm assuming most people on here have actually watched the documentary, but for those who haven't, I think we should just introduce who we are, um, and, uh, what our role was, whether we were an operator, uh, or, or a creator of this. And, uh, I guess we can just start maybe uh, with with Jimmy there. Bryson's Bryson's coming on, so I'll just interject. Who whoever was the last host that was made, I think was it Jimmy or Angelo? Angelo, Angelo. If you want to make Bryson a host as well, and then uh, uh, okay, it's I'll up in the, go to his his uh, his picture and then uh, right click on it. There's okay. A Bryson's three, picture's three not here though. Okay. Oh, so you, it it might be a little delayed for you then. Yeah, there's no Bryson. There's four windows. Lee, West, Jimmy, and Angelo. Hey, there's Highlands Hostel just popped up. I, I just had a flash of it, and then it, there it is again. <laughs> wow. So can you go can up to his, his? If you go up to Stop. his uh, blog. Can you guys hear me? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> well, you won't let me start the video for Christ's sake. Yeah, there he is. I see him now. You, so you want me to unleash him? Hang on. <laughs> start video because the host has disabled it. Like I'm already disabled. <laughs> All right. I, how am I supposed to do this, boys? Go up to you his uh... video because the host has disabled it. 
Yeah. So Angelo, if you go up to his block and click on the three dots, it should yep. say make a host. And then okay. once that happens, yep. uh, Bryson, you're able to go down okay. and enable video. There okay. you go. I just, a... I just made him a host. I can see all you guys. Ah. Oh. Okay. Somehow I just opened the door to you. This is a really, really cool game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There he is. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, this is Zoom. This is the famous Zoom Za, eh? There you go, man. There you go. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucking over this thing. Is it snowing up there, Bryson? Perseverance. That? That's the name is of this dog. snowing up there? <laughs> Lobster. Lobsters. We're eating lobsters yeah. up here now. Yeah, right. Yeah. For the next two months, I'm sure. At five bucks a pound, right? Well, yeah, it's four bucks, I think. Oh my god! Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it till my feet swell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already limping, and this is our first feed. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, don't rub it in. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's the gout setting in. <laughs> oh no, that comes later. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to work for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Woo! You hey, uh, I I've got uh, just for news. But I might as well fill the tube up here. The old YouTube. Um, I have two people at my kayak shop now here, just finishing a quarantine, coming from Ontario that are going to take over the business of North River Kayak Tours as of uh, January first, twenty twenty one. So uh, so yeah, I'm I'm getting out of that business and into the wilderness cabins business and, and, uh, awesome. and kayaking for pleasure and passing uh, the torch. Well, passing the torch. And these, these guys watch the movie with all of their family in Ontario. They watched the doc and, and they had a said it was fantastic. And that really, after they saw that, they said that it made them feel it sealed the deal. That's what they wow. said. Wow. They said it sealed Whoa. the deal. So, well, so there a, you go, you know, so wow. guys, thanks a lot <laughs> for sealing it. You know what? I, I was, I had all this, the interview stuff with, with the, you were talking about getting out of it and selling it and stuff that we we're like, eh, I don't know if we should put it in there. I don't know if we should do that. And then uh, we we're, it, I was originally in it. And then I think it was a time thing. We had to like cut stuff down and we're like trying to figure out where, what worked and what didn't and then that ended up getting cut at the last minute i believe yeah but yeah it was uh been interesting man it's been uh yeah it's kind of crazy this whole project that didn't really it was like a, just a an idea and and then it's kind of it's crazy how like this one little idea little seed just ends up going into a whole different whole different mind of its own but um yeah it's like a song it's like writing a song yeah, a whole new world. <laughs> there you go. Give us a tune, Bryson. A whole new world of lobsters and watermelons. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's um, it in, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Emily, I got a question here before we get into who we're getting to like introduce to everybody. Um, Emily wanted to know, how did you choose your typeface? A lot of people have spoken about that. It was the first thing they noticed. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's pretty funny uh, because people, people were asking that and they're like, man, you chose the perfect typeface. And I'm like, I kind of laughed because I'm like, wow, Bernie literally chose that probably as a placeholder um, in, in just to have placeholder text because the original text that I had didn't like and then it just worked and then we ended up using it it wasn't really like a lot of thought no there. there was no that was like I just well I mean Lee you can speak to this more but just like many things with the documentary um you can kind of ponder over it or think about it and let it sit on a shelf for days months but really you were pushing the envelope to just get it done and I think that really kind of helped give us a a, a a clear window of when we had to make decisions and things like that we just didn't even a, a lot time for really it was just like oh that will do and until someone kind of came up 
with some suggestion or way to improve it or right. disagreed with something that was in there, it wasn't really even ever changed from the original kind of, like you said, placeholder or kind of placement of a clip or a, an audio uh, conversation. So, yeah, basically. But um, yeah, so back to where before from Bryson jumped in. Um, where were we at? We were introducing everybody, wasn't it? Is that what we we're doing? Yes. Yeah. Good start with Bryson to slow him down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, yeah, how you guys doing? I'm Bryson. <laughs> we're up yeah. in the Highlands Hostel, top of the Cabot Trail. Just uh, going to cook some lobster pizza tonight here. Ooh. Yeah. Boiled. Just, just chefing up a little bit of uh, this and that. And love this. Love seeing you guys. We're all together here. This is sweet. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You should have a cooking show. Yeah, oh, you betcha. <laughs> I think there's already a big guy that does that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Next up. Let's get her going. Uh, yeah, somebody's saying you should have a lobster and watermelon festival, Bryson. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Yes, we should. Deadly hey. combo. Yes, lobster watermelon festival. That sounds good to me. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys, we're all in the same boat, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, who's coming in next? I guess I'll do me. Um, I'm Lee. I'm coming in from Argery. That's pretty oh. much it. Been outside all day in the sun, beautiful sun. We got 14 degrees, and uh, I am just drank a whole French press of coffee, and I'm about to crack my first beer. Okay, I'll do this. I'll go. My name is Angelo, and I'm very curious on as to why Lee's parents named him Lee for Marguerite. Um, yeah. Did they actually name him that because Marguerite has the sound of Lee in it? Or was, was that how it happened, Lee? Can you can you comment on that? No, it was my my uh, my grandfather's name. So my name is actually David Lee, David Lee Free. But Ooh. David Lee. Yeah. yeah. Jump. I actually knew yeah. that. I saw some mail that was addressed to you once, and I was like, oh, that's a good name because my middle name's David. So there we go. <laughs> David Lee Roth. Yeah. Well, that's it. Was funny because when I worked at Dominion Diving in Dartmouth, that's was my <laughs> my um, timesheet said David Lee Roth on it. So I would say David Lee Frazier because the woman that did payroll was a big David Lee Roth fan. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just a gigolo? <laughs> Everywhere you go? No comment. <laughs> okay. No comment. <laughs> All right. It's just a question. Jimmy, do you want to go next? Sure, sure. I'm Jimmy. Jimmy Hendricks. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a normal name in Denmark where I'm from. Uh, so yeah, live in city camp and uh, part of this crazy thing with Lee. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just Jimmy. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just love my background, actually. That is sweet. Yeah. 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 You can change yours. Don't get too yeah, carried away, I guys. Though. I wonder if I can change it again. I think you need like a solid background, don't you? I'm pretty sure. It, it's, it's like trees and stuff behind me, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. it's the fall colors. Yeah, you're just around here. Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah. So we've got, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. there was a question on here where we have, I haven't watched the doc yet, stumbled upon that's live. And your Instagram story, can you tell us more about it? Huh, well. This is basically like the, this is basically like pretty much the whole cast of the film minus Jeremy. Actually, I forgot and Jay, her. and Jay. Um, oh, and where's Jay? She uh, she said she couldn't make it. She was working all day and uh, was like dead. She's been up since like five working. So, ah, oh, um, hard worker. Yeah, man. But Jeremy's probably daddy duties right now. I would imagine, but. Um, 
but yeah anyway so the, the documentary is just a, a film about um all of us tour operators in the summertime it was shot from uh oh jeremy's watching now get on here jeremy <laughs> what are you doing i'm cooking what's he is he's on zoom what's going on Come on, daddy duties too and these Brittany mary oh he's, uh, he's gonna log in a different one Jumping, uh, anyways, yeah, the documentary is just a film about uh, what it's like to, you know, operate a tourism business in the summertime, and and how these businesses are kind of like helping each other out, working together, um, and that's kind of the original idea of the whole project was to sh shed a light on how uh, small businesses were changing the narrative of what it was like to live here, and then kind of took legs and grew, and then we ended up back to where we started, so. That's it in a nutshell, I guess. So, so did you guys think, uh, what was your guys' reactions to the whole project? I never really talked to anybody about it. I can't, Angelo, you... I can't help watching him. You what? I can't, I can't help watching Bryson. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, so what's he doing now? <laughs> He's drinking out of a watermelon. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah it's quite entertaining maybe we should just throw the throw it over to him for a second and, and let him roll with it this is the way we roll we roll this is the way we roll <laughs> there you go oh, i'm man. obsessed with the uh background image there this is just yeah, awesome. a big party yeah these are great these zoom things hey eh? Yeah, Jeremy's uh, Jeremy's trying to get on, but um, but uh, I think he's he logged into a different thing. So he's here. <laughs> what are you doing, Jimmy? <laughs> oh my God! Beautiful job on the dock. How are you guys feeling about the coming season, particularly in light of the COVID stuff? How about extension of the season beyond the typical June to October? Mm. Did you want to answer that Great one? Great question. Well, uh, we're just surviving merely. Stop the snow. Stop the snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't fish in the winter, can you, Jimmy? Uh, it's not going to have a natural end to everything. Anybody else have uh, any feelings on that one? Just surviving, man. We're just barely surviving. It's insane. The bills are piling up, and who knows what's going to happen. Going to have to survive we're not gonna quit we're gonna keep on going we're gonna keep her going yeah yeah that's what we're um we're just you're in the same boat as as campgrounds and stuff hey eh, bryson all the the oh my god communal bathrooms communal showers all that sort of stuff hey eh? yeah yeah everything even events like everything i've ever done my whole life has all just been taken away so we got to get creative yeah well, what's cool? We'll, we'll we'll check because I'm like working. What about a virtual Zoom lobster and uh, watermelon party hosted yeah. by yours truly, right there up at Highlands yeah. Hostel? Then you can have the whole world tune in. I'm trying to figure out how I can get. There's got to be a platform where I could charge ten bucks a month for people that want to just watch, and I'm just gonna do shit, tell stories, do whatever <laughs> I do. Right? <laughs> oh, there's lots of those. Bryson, is that X-rated? <laughs> yeah it might get x-rated <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put a rating on that thing yeah i'll pay yeah. 10 bucks you got your first customer <laughs> yeah, 10 bucks a month. i mean you know and then it adds up and that could hopefully get us through this you know give it a shot yeah, i mean why not i think that's a great idea yeah it's that's uh, yeah it's the only thing i can really think of right now you know we're in rural nova scotia we're in the middle of nowhere right so Having this kind of stuff is, yeah, I just got to find the platform and try to figure it out. Well, do it sooner than later, because I think you're onto something there. That's a super cool idea. And, and it would be super fun to join you. You know what I mean? But yeah. You're, and you're helping the Highlands Hostel at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's not like, uh, it's not like you're paying for, because a lot of people are doing coupons right now. And that's not really, that might work for the corner store or, for other things, but I don't think it's going to really, it hasn't worked for us. I think we got one person phoned in and uh, got a coupon for later, <laughs> you know, so I don't think that's going to work. Yeah. yeah. How is, uh, like, I'm just curious, 
um, on everybody else's bookings. Uh, how are they going? I mean, I can I can attest to my bookings based on the past and based on right now. But how uh, and I can tell you that. But I'm curious on how you're all doing. Like Lee, how's it going on your end? Um, I have had uh, a lot of the big stuff. So like weddings in bigger like full weekend bookings and stuff have all been rescheduled for next year. Luckily, um, I actually. It was weird this past week i got a couple bookings from people from the states but that's that's the one downside with like i had set up for like accommodations which are it's kind of like you're is it gonna happen probably i don't know but uh everybody that i've i've talked to and everybody that i've emailed is kind of like holding on uh right now because most of my stuff is july and august so i just said we can wait to the very last moment and i'll be flexible isolation policies if you want to hold on um but we're just kind of like right now i'm trying to figure out how it's going to work with uh safety protocols like cleaning um luckily all of our payments and bookings are kind of digital done online waivers are online all that stuff is tactless already so it's just trying to figure out how it's going to work with everything else like i don't know uh right now but as far as bookings I think I had like two cancellations out of all the ones that I had pre-booked. Everybody else is just really just holding on to the last moment. And then I just, we're just going to have to be flexible with it this year, I think. So, yeah. Uh, well, you got a campground too. So you're a lot safer, right? That's, that's good. Like you got tents and stuff. So that's really going to help you. Well, yes and no, but the, cause the glamping sites are all like, they're like a hotel room. So I'm playing with the idea of just having them open on the weekends right now and not having them open during the week, just do weekly bookings and they have to be two night bookings. So you have to book for the whole weekend or you don't get it. Um, and oh, yeah. the ability to clean it in between and then the whole campground will be open for everybody wanting to camp. And then the bathrooms and shower, we'll have to have like a cleaning policy, like go in like every, I have no idea. It's going to be like, frequently during the day and then and then we'll uh yeah we'll do that and then hope this nice i got something to say here it's uh you know we're all uh, losing bookings and gaining gaining new ones and expect like i'm i'm getting i'm losing a lot of bookings from the states of course that's i think we're all going to do that uh, but i'm gaining new bookings i think from our province and of course that is everybody could foresee that that's going to happen it's just, just going to be a change people still want to do stuff and i believe that we have something that people really really need now maybe more than ever um you know uh, because we're all we can all sort of create something where people can get some uh, some uh, some, we have space. That's really all. My commodity, your commodity, all of our commodity is space. And that's what we have here. You know, if you live in New York, if you live in Toronto or, or even Halifax, they need to get out. And, and everybody has been so courageous and sitting at home and locking up and, and uh, social distancing for so long. They've been cooped up. So I can't even, I can't even foresee what's going to happen. I, I don't know where this is going. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a lot of cancellations and so on and so on. But hey, it could turn around on a on a dime, and and uh, we could have more booking. So I'm an eternal optimist, uh, and probably I wouldn't do what I do, and I don't think any of you guys would do what you do. And I think some of the uh, one of the core elements of the portray that uh, Lee has made is that we're all optimists. Um, otherwise we wouldn't fucking do what we do right yeah, I so i think we're gonna be okay uh yeah <laughs> might get bruises but i think it's gonna be okay and we're in a business that's needed more than ever yep, fair point. so i'm okay i i'm i'm optimistic <laughs> I, to, to just add to that to and, and me, everybody think... here is every, everybody here is themselves selling them bryson <laughs> Me, Angelo, Jeremy, Lee, everybody is, is originals and are really their commodity is space and themselves. And you can't go wrong with that. I don't think so. Dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. Had to come in the bathroom and then, like, and I was already in there and then, and then Yum Yum came right in with him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bryson, are you able to uh, click on Jeremy Smith's uh, screen there and add him as a host? And then I think we can get him as a video guy. Uh, Just to, where it says his name, there should be three little dots. Add him as a host. And you put your cursor on top of him. But he's on a he's on a probably iPad, so it might be different. Okay. No MacBook. No, yeah, not just to add. But Bryson might be. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't even know what I just did. You guys, <laughs> you guys still see me? Oh yeah, we can see you. Loud and clear. I, I well, I'm assuming Bryson's probably on an iPad, so it's probably okay. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like, he's on an iPad, so he might not have the same options. Oh, uh, true. Oh, true, more? True. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking here. Uh, chat. What do we got here? Chat two? Uh, uh, add, a, add a host. Maybe add Jeremy as a host is what you want. So It's down to me to do that, eh? Yeah. yeah that's, that's, it's, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a tag, game of tag. Yeah, make host? Like a... Make him a host? Add yes. A yes. Make a host. I hope he is fully closed. You think he shaved? There we go. Oh, I don't know. We're going to have roll the dice to see. Okay. Did he did Jeremy <laughs> shave or did he not shave? I guess we'll see. Yeah, he, he's got to just hit his camera or something. Yeah, he's probably Jeremy. It's your camera. My camera? That worked fine every other Zoom call I've done. Oh. You, Can you, you have right to hear. Oh, there, there we go. go. Oh, oh, oh we lost you. There you are again. Push it for the limit. Working good. <laughs> so I didn't really shave, but I'm not as scruffy as I was in the dock. <laughs> but you have a new <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. He's folding clothes. Oh, that's yeah, that's baby so clothes. Yeah. Hey, we're all doing it. Yeah. Should we have a toast? Uh, yeah. Like right yeah. into the center of the screen, and I'll I'll try and like make <laughs> hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait for Jimmy. Yeah, get a drink. Give me a second here. I got to open it. Just walked right camera. into the back of that fish and disappeared. Did you notice that? <laughs> you didn't see that? That's a big old pike. Oh, eh? Is that what that I is? That's a rough day. Or a salmon. That's a, no, it's a male salmon, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody's, uh, no, no, we've had, did you That's see that? Little... Fuck it. It happened twice. It'll shout out. <laughs> Not kidding. If anybody that's uh, watching that has any questions, um, let us know or has any comments, let us know. I'm just posting that up in the comments and uh, we'll get into more stories about the filming of this thing. And, yeah, just to uh, just to add to what Jimmy was saying, I think like it's a really good point and like I'm obviously not uh, directly related within the Cape Breton tourism industry, but I think what's true is that there's such an awesome opportunity here for local businesses to do something that larger um, global businesses can't do. And that's connect on a human to human level with the people uh, that share the community with them. And like Jimmy was saying, there's, there's people who are looking to try new things or take up old uh, hobbies. And for things like fly fishing or dancing with a lobster in their hand or <laughs> you know, things like that, right? There's working out to be an appetite where people are going to be like my disposable income is going to probably go to things like that and for the people who are fortunate enough to to be able to do that and uh for us being you know uh able to, to still provide those types of services i think it's a big opportunity so yeah plus not only that if it doesn't work we'll come up with something else so it, it you know you're all and you're in the same boat as we are. Uh, you created something out of nothing. You created a new business um, because you made a video. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how long ago it was, but you know what I mean? Like um, everybody here is sort of creative and, and uh, <laughs> courageous. <laughs> so absolutely. <laughs> like that is the chef show for sure. Like a, what's that going on there? Right? Uh, <laughs> Jeremy's getting his bib ready. Oh no, that's a t-shirt. No, and I'm there. Baby he, shirt. He's on laundry. I'm cooking dinner. I thought he was getting his bib ready because he was getting hungry, but that's just his uh he's full of laundry. No, I'm getting ready for bed, man. I gotta wake up at two to go lobster fishing. 
Oh, yes. Thank so Bryce you. is going to eat another one? <laughs> yeah, that would get him. Thank you for risking your life for us that love seafood. Thank you for this, man. Okay, well, we're going to go for a time, fisherman. Uh, easy peasy. Everybody got their cheers ready or what? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready, Jimmy? <laughs> okay, Lee, go for it, man. Yeah, Lee. Well, we're, well, we're going to wait for Bryson to get this corkscrew. Oh, boy. What's he into? <laughs> this like is some, someone gave this to us last year. Hey! hey. Oh, it's it's okay, go ahead. Yeah. Cheers, everybody, for a oh. successful season, hopefully. Yeah. Cheers, everybody watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, man, thanks for tuning in. It's been awesome. So, uh, what do we got? Our YouTube didn't track. There's a new comment up. Great doc, guys. Uh, I know most of you already market locally, but how are you shifting to attract more Canadians this summer to fill in international gap? Mm. Excuse me. Well, we touched on that just before with Jimmy's, but um, I, this, this personally, this was the first year that I was really like trying to market internationally. Um, I just been really pushing Nova Scotia bookings. Uh, it's been the majority of my client powered Eastern Canada, um, which was just my plan from the start was the market. <laughs> So, uh, but this see this documentary was actually supposed to be part of this whole promoting to global markets, which was kind of how we got a little bit of uh, funding for it um, originally, and then that got scrapped. So we were I was like, are we actually get this funding anymore? What's going to happen? So we had to kind of like reprogram that uh, the scope of that project, but. But then commit, so it's it's actually working out well to this. I think moment. it worked great. It, it's it's going to work great to, to discover your backyard. It's yeah. directly transferable. It works. It would work perfect for a German. It works perfect for people in Yarmouth or Dartmouth or wherever, you know, Sydney. Go in your backyard. There's tons of stuff you haven't seen yet. Many trails you haven't done. You know. Just to. Uh, oh. oh no! Oh, he fell down. <laughs> Did you hear that one? I think right. the lobster attacked him. Bryson, oh. I was just going to say something about you. I guess you got excited. <laughs> oh, man. I don't. Uh oh. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, a host disabled the video, it says. I don't know. Oh, I didn't. Do oh, oh, no. I didn't do anything. I dropped my phone in the river Hang today. On. I figured out that it was actually a waterproof. I didn't know that. Oh, man. That's nice. Man, this thing I've thrown in the Marguerite Harper once. That was a hard was one. Waterproof. Uh, is there any way to add me somehow? Oh, then uh, Jeremy, you have to make him host now or something, right? Or whatever. Maybe. Yeah, it's pro it could we'll be Jeremy or An Angela. Oh, oh, hey, no, I don't think I can. I already tried, guys. Okay. How about yeah. I leave Jeremy? I can leave and, and try to come back. Some, uh, thing um, up here. Hold on. Yeah, maybe so. Um, oh, wait, I think hold on here. The three little blue dots, the yeah, white dots really in the blue host. screen, Jeremy, I think that's how I did it. Make host, put on host. Make, you want to make, yeah, Bryce. make a host, make exactly. Host. Okay. Yeah. Change oh. host. And yeah. no, make a host. And then hopefully he'll, he'll come oh. back because he's quite entertaining, really. <laughs> Try clicking on uh, your video now. Should you should be good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Oh, thank God. So, <laughs> Man, that hurt. Did you hear the sound of it? It was like, what? Oh. Yeah, tell us what happened. <laughs> I got you in the bread cupboard here, and I'm sitting here. I'm picking away, trying to get these. I'm, I'm getting the lobster ready, and it just slammed right past them, and a smash on the counter. But Were you good. attacked? <laughs> Something grabbed my foot. Something came and grabbed my foot, and then I, I looked and I, it, it ran out the door. It was like, 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 <laughs> out the oh, almost like a kid. <laughs> almost like a kid, but it looked like, like an insect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you on the edibles today, by chance? Nobody. No. Okay. <laughs>
Bryson, I was going to mention that uh, Green stuff one of the in here. What's that? I was going to mention that one of the people that watched the doc and reached out to me, uh, they actually live very near to you uh, on that side of the island. And uh, yeah. they are thrilled to uh, and looking very looking forward very much so to, to meeting you when uh, when everything uh, allows allows that. So you're going to have a couple new friends coming your way. That's awesome, man. I can't wait to meet them. They have a cottage just up, uh, up, up, up that way. So uh, near White Point. Okay. Yeah. We're fun. That's like right around the corner. Exactly. Yeah, well, like they have all sorts of um, memories of the the areas that we would have filmed, and uh, they were very taken away by it. So wow. got some new friends in the neighborhood there, buddy. Yeah. Right on. That's good news. <laughs> That's good news. I can't wait to meet him, buddy. Jeremy, I, I no, have to uh, ask: Are you down there? Are you actually folding baby clothes? Yeah, it's on how's the that bed going and anyway? How's that going? Being like an outdoor adventure guide and 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 father of a brand new baby and the start of a, a season coming and all of these uncertainties and then this new baby comes into the world and you have to actually start up a business right now. How's that going? It's, uh, I don't know, it kind of simplifies things a lot more, I guess. It's, I'm not even thinking about like the season until it actually comes because it's like, I got a couple of calls earlier today just wondering when I was opening up and I don't know what the uh, parameters for running the business are just yet. Do you have any idea, Angela? Like, can we take people out on tours? <laughs> Just recently, there was a, um, uh, you could go out and paddle, it said. Yeah. But you can't, you cannot compete. Yes, I saw that. So you can go, you can paddle, but you cannot compete. Like, okay, so no racing, everybody. We're going kayaking, but we're not allowed to race. So don't compete with each other. Like, I, I, I kind of giggled at that. It was no, kind of well, I, I think what they're getting at is like no big events, no race events or anything like that. I know. But, yeah, you know, I get that. I just, I just kind of, I just found the, it. Yeah, I know the way that it's. The way it was worded. It was like, you can't compete. And uh, everybody competes on a kayak tour in a funny way. We're all, the, all the kids are exactly. all trying to race the other kids, you know. First one yeah. back to the wharf is usually the deal, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, uh, I guess it's take it as it comes. I'm going to be working a lot closer with lead this year and trying to balance this whole everything. The fatherhood is a new new cog in the machine. You know, it's like it's a new layer to everything. I'm not going to be able to commit myself to the, you know, 12 hours of work every day that I was doing before. So, I, I guess, guess you're a uh, freaking awesome dad. We'll see as we go. Yeah, I'm. I, I think I am so far. I'm having a good time. He's, He's an awesome. Baby, great man. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Good. It's right now, I'm just focusing on getting through this fishing season with the kid, and then I'm lining things up. Uh, once I get bookings, I'll have bookings. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, trying to take things literally day by day now, and see how everything develops. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, um, the last few, few days. All, sir, What's that? Well, it's good to get fish. All right. <laughs> the last few days, um, I, I can I can attest to to my situation here. It's um, it, okay. In the last week. There has been probably a, on a long scale of about maybe fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars, but on the positive side of things, I've had my first clients this week show up, and I've got one cabin booked for the next few nights, which yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and the day before that, uh, which was, I think, is great. I mean, it shows at least there's some movement because I wasn't sure if there's going to be any movement. So it's kind of cool 
to 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 pick up the phone and 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 normally in the winter time I answer it hello but you know in in January February but you know now I'm starting to answer it again as in North River kayak tours or River Nest Wilderness Cabins so so there's a little bit of a shift going on in my mind which is like okay the phone is starting to ring and it's time to pick it up but normally would pick it up yeah, in, in, that in, happened in to kayak me season. Huh? That, that happened to me yesterday. I was just like, hello, like, uh, is this CB West? I'm like, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Now you have to be remembered that, yes, oh yes, it is. And that's your first phone call. It's like, your wa it's like the alarm clock or your wake up call where you get that and you're, oh my God, I'm actually in business again. And, and you know, it, it's interesting when you do it over and over again. Now, Bryce yeah, exactly. is in business all the time, as you can see. You know, yeah. what I mean? we had everything cancel on us. <laughs> okay. Every so book we got gone. So it's just going to, when things start going, they're going to, it's going to start going, but I can't wait. It's going to be fun. But I think it will start going. I think it'll start going sooner than later. Yeah. I'm hoping. Yeah. I mean, even if we could salvage, let's let's say mid mid June and July and August, and maybe part of September, or maybe yeah. the season's going to get pushed into late October, like for 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 somebody like like us with a seasonal like a kayaking business where we only can go till October. Yeah, October was our busiest year last year, or our well, busiest month. Yeah, well, it's getting busier for us too in October, uh, and and funny enough. It, it used to be busy in, not busy, but busier in May and June. And now it's being much more busier in the end of September till October. So there's a shift going on, I find. I, I totally, totally see it. Yeah, yeah. It's going, it's a little bit are push. way better than our spring. So Bingo. That's exactly right. And that's what's happening to us. You know, like, like we just got the wharf in today. That's where I was, uh, yeah. And, and the new guys were down there and the three of us went down and we stuck the wharf in. So we got the chainsaw and the ice took the two front posts and pushed the front posts up about a foot and a half up. So the wharf was actually pointing. It was like a fucking launch pad for, for a yeah. rocket almost. Um, and we had to take the chainsaw and cut the bottom end off and, and shift the wharf down at low tide a foot and a half because of the ice. So there's something that local uh, local, like somebody in this business has to deal with. I've never done that before, but sometimes you just have to be a jack of all trades, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like look down the bottom right corner. I got some guy doing some lobster crazy shit with lobster right now. He owns a hostel and he's a long boarder. Yeah. And look at him, look at him hoeing down. Yeah, you gotta wondering. keep her going. I'm just wondering how many that guy can eat. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> no, tell us. Oh. Uh. Oh, I can I can pound all these back. I, four are easy. This four I can eat all these. I bet yeah, I could eat like they're around a pound each. You probably eat ten pounds worth easy. <laughs> right. What are you washing them down with? Uh saliva. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I saw that bottle you had in your hand, you dirty, yeah, dirty devil. Go I'll go get it. I'll go get it. <laughs> no, 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 you're doing good. <laughs> we're gonna put these lobsters. We're gonna put them on the pizza tonight, folks. A white sauce, a creamy white sauce. <laughs> oh my god! There he goes. Oh man! Hey, uh, Jeremy, if you stay right where you're at, it looks like you're an angel, and you have a halo around wow. your head. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, I'm serious. You got that window at least. Yeah. I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you. Um, at the kayak shop today, they said, do you want a fucking truffle? And I said, I love truffles. Chocolate truffles are delicious. So I ate it and I was delighted and it tasted great. And then they told me, oh yeah, that was edibles. So I'm like, I oh! <laughs> well, then I'm like, I got to go do this thing here now. And I was like, yeah. I said, they said, oh no. It'll only be like an hour. And if you don't feel anything in an hour, you're okay. Well, three hours later, I came home. I was feeling nothing. And now I got smoked. Uh, <laughs> well, that's what just happened to me. So uh, this was, uh, 
that was a really nice introduction to uh, flying high again, like Ozzy Osbourne once said. All we can do is celebrate. Work on it. Huh? All we can do is celebrate and keep a positive attitude, keep her coming, and when they show up, we're going to give them the best time they've ever had. You know, and, and we're going to continue forever. having the best time we've ever had right now. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, it seems like it seems well, like I know where my going. next ten bucks are going. Let's let's. Uh, I can't wait for what's next there, Bryson. Edible. Hey, hey. I might need to talk to you after. Maybe you know some other kind of. Uh, maybe you know like something about that. Where Patreon. I can get Patreon. Get him a Patreon. That's what he I hear. Patreon. Yes. I looked that up. Is that a good one? Apparently, yeah, Patreon is the one to go with, for sure. They take quite a bit, but I mean, if you're just whatever, right? You're not going to do it. So, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's either you're going to get it done or uh, you're going to do it and not make any money or you're going to do it and make some make some cash. Yeah, and they're going to make money too. So, yeah, might as well. that's the one. I, I was reading up. I spent a couple hours reading that one last night. So if that's what you guys say, I guess that's the one. It was suggested. Books. We'll go. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. It was suggested a few times in the comments. <laughs> few times in these here comments yeah oh yeah yeah uh, what i like this? the stuff in the lobster <laughs> people come around the cabin trail and they just they they show up in our lives and we give them the best time ever man and there was there was so much stuff that we shot up at your place bryson that never that didn't make it because we had so much so much stuff from that like i wanted to put in more stuff of like when we went to the beach and we were like loaded up the rv with all the firewood the big logs and everything yeah, yeah i had driftwood that stuff but and then there was there was so many conversations in the in the rv going to the beach that were ridiculous that i was like eh, i can't put those in the documentary uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty uh pretty r-rated pretty yeah uh, i'm I'm pretty. I was stoked though that uh, when he when he uh, got the the people walking on the side of the road, that made the cut. That was that was so Bryson. Yeah, yeah that was. <laughs> oh, thanks for that, you guys. It was really good exposure for all of us, and I really appreciate you guys uh, including us on that. Well, it was crazy. It's just there was so many people, man. There was so many other people that that I we had planned to get in it, and then it was just like the schedules didn't work. And then there was other people that I had interviewed for uh, the film, like the Ross Cloutier and and uh, Ray Frazier and all this other stuff. But the audio wasn't really good, and I tried to clean it up as best I could, and it didn't really work. So we couldn't put it in there. I could have, but the audio was just horrible, and it would have just sounded like of uh, robot garbly and stuff so i didn't which is also like talking to those guys and all that other stuff that's coming down the pipeline that's kind of like i mean that's a whole other project you could do like the whole seawall trail and northern peninsula and the you know raising awareness on that area and all that sort of stuff is a whole other yeah. there's so many different things um that you can do so i don't know it was fun man and then we've got a there's a group doing 10 day hike around uh basically doing the whole northern peninsula uh, in 10 days so they're going like up north money point all the way down uh um, the fault and then into paul's cove and then up the seawall trail and then loop back around and they're doing that on the i believe the 12th or 15th of june i believe oh yeah yeah, I'm looking if I can if I can allocate a couple weeks there, then I might do it with them. Yeah, sure. right on. We'll see. We'll see. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, but there's all. I mean, there's all that's that sort of stuff that was coming in the pipeline that is future developments. But we we like the whole the whole thought of this whole film was like what we what we ended up with the finished product was like the original concept. And then it went through like three or four different concepts and then came back to that one in the end. And then we had like all, we filmed like a lot of stuff in the winter. So there was like the, the across the Highlands hike that we filmed the of. We've got like Ski Cape Smoky, the Deer Fest that was there. We have a bunch of shit from that. A bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. The winter creatives weekend. And 
bunch of other things that just didn't make the actual film, but they were all, um, yeah, they were all going to be in, in this project. Oh, Lucas, Luke, man, I always call Lucas Luke or Luke, Luke Lucas for some reason. I don't know why, but anyways, he was just commenting about that hike. I don't think he's around. I think he's over in Latvia or Eastern Europe summers, I think, but, uh, but yeah, it's going to be a wild one in June. So, uh, everybody, Angelo, so when are you, um, your cabins are operational now, but what's, um, what's uh, the deal with the, the kayak tours? Are you, are you just pushing bookings now or are you going to open up? Stores, or are you open up? Oh, well, I think I can open. I mean, by the sounds of things, uh, if it says you can paddle, then I presume you can paddle. Uh, so our wharf is in as of today, um, because it, it's been so cold and it's been a, and it's, it's been a rough start weather wise. Uh, we got down and we got it in today, me and, and my guides, which was fantastic. Um, that should be installed by Wednesday. It should be actually out and then we're ready to roll. I mean, everything else is ready to roll except getting the wharf in the water, which was a big deal and we got it done now cabins are open and this is my first week where I've actually had clients. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to practice our social distancing as best as we can, you know, uh, and I think we're doing a good job of it already. Uh, but it's something different to get used to, you know, you know, at the campfire, you've got to sit like 10 feet apart. <laughs> it's like, wow. Oh, oh. You know. just got to make the fire real big, eh? Make it real hot. That was <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the truth, you know? That's a good idea. You, you can, yeah, that's a good way to do it. Just have a big fire. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm, you're, I, I can't bear watching you eat all these lobsters while we're sitting here just staring at you eating lobsters, man. Look how much I picked already. I'm getting, I've almost got her done. You almost got her done. And who are you saving those for? Pizza. Uh, we're gonna it's gonna be a family dinner here. I want to eat them. I could just I eat it all myself, but I gotta save some. Ah. <laughs> oh, well, is that your family's lobster you're eating right now? <laughs> they won't eat these little things. Oh, yeah, yeah, good one. Right, they won't yeah. eat these. Yeah, they probably will. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Yeah, we had to feed a feed of lobster a couple of days ago. Mm. Um, I think it's about five bucks a pound now off the dock and uh, uh, uh. six bucks cooked if i'm not mistaken i'll cook it yeah yeah i can too <laughs> but that's sort of a different ball game there you know it's that's a, that's a full day event whereas if you buy them you know direct it's usually um you know it's like a yeah. half day event because because you don't have to cook them yeah we fired up the pizza oven yesterday as well down at at, at the kayak shop danielle and i had a had uh, we made a couple different pizzas. My father was there too, of course. And uh, yeah, that that's one cool. thing that we didn't. It, uh, we had that whole tour of the cabins and and the oven and all that stuff. It just time wise didn't really make it in. So I mean, for the people that are watching, just give them. Uh, I guess we didn't really feature that in the film. <laughs> so uh, give them an overview of the the cabins and the pizza oven and. And what you got going on down there? So the people watching. Well, can... I've got like I've got five cabins now, and they're all themed. They they're all like custom built. They're it's it's sort of boutique glamping. You're 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 camping, but you're not. Uh, there's a full wash house there, so hot showers. Uh, there's an outdoor pizza oven there, uh, an outdoor fire pit. Really nice, like well built, crafted by a stonemason fire pit. Um, and then down below is North River Kayak Tours, uh, just down like footsteps away so people can roll out of their bed, uh, come here. The cabins, there's five cabins in their space nicely, so you have your privacy. Um, you know, there's a nice shelter over it, so if it's raining, you can sit underneath it and have a glass of wine while you're staring out at the water. It's, it's pretty Ooh. perfect, you know. Uh, so, so during this time, uh, I think it's a perfect time to come here because it's it's or or your place too, Lee. You've got you've got distance, and and if that's what you want, uh, that's what you're getting here, that's for sure. But if you want to come and chat, you know we got megaphones as well. 
Uh, we've, we've, we've got like seven different megaphones. So you walk down the road and, and batteries are fully charged and uh, you walk as far as you want and you can talk on those megaphones up to 500 feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding about the megaphones, but the rest of it's all good. Um, I just feel like we need megaphones now, and it's kind of st strange, stupid or strange. I'm not sure what how to react to that. You it's know? great that you you got bookings though. I've been seeing people around. There's definitely tourists out in the boat. Like oh, there's people all around, across, like around Terner or Kaplan when they're full of cars. People. Mm -hmm. I uh, I I lose about two and get one. Pretty much, two for one, two for one, or maybe sometimes three for one. But I'm I'm not only losing; I am getting new customers. Well, that's, that's good. good. And it's also going to be just a different kind of activity. Uh, like I got cabins as well as you, and and um, I have one uh, guest who might want to book a cabin for a month because he might as well sit and work in my cabin than sit in his apartment in. How fact working. Oh, so, awesome. you know, so <laughs> I so hard to uh, foresee what's going to happen, really. That's interesting you say that. Jimmy. Huh? That's interesting you say that because I had somebody this week, uh, an inquiry about uh, people wanting to quarantine. They said, if we came there, could we stay a month because we want to quarantine? We're moving yeah. to Nova Scotia and they wanted to quarantine here. So, so what you said was interesting because all of a sudden I think that's, that might be start to become a market so that people want to, so like quarantine, they can come to our places and be secluded from people and also do work because they have exposure to internet and yeah. they can do it from home or here. So Plus, yes. Well, I, to my knowledge, you know, I, I, I'm not, I don't know exactly, but to my knowledge, I haven't heard of anybody having COVID-19 here in our area. On this side, anyways. Yeah. Here. So, you know, so I don't know if that means anything or not. <clears throat> I'm not sure either. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, been, been nobody in, well, as far as I'm aware, in Marjorie area either. I knew it. No. If anybody in Shetty Camp had it, they would say it. Oh, if somebody farts in one end of town, we'll know it in the other end of town pretty quickly. So, if had COVID 19, I'm guaranteed it would be everybody would know. So, oh, yeah. I guess it's nobody had it, or a lot of people but didn't know they had it. Who knows? But nobody's getting badly sick here. No. Well, we can keep it that way, hopefully. Yeah. All right, guys. I had to get some food. <laughs> what a good doctor. What are you eating? Oh, look at that. All greenery. Is that lettuce? What do you got? That's not food. That's not food. Oh, there you go. There's some animal right there. <laughs> so we got the two right screens. One guy's hoeing down on lobster all over his face. The other guy's got fried chicken all over his face. Fried chicken. And one guy's got a dog in the Drumstick. corner. And then Jeremy's folding baby clothes. This is Anton. Anton is uh, 17 and a half head. years old. Oh my and, uh, God. He's, he's been on the river with me fishing for 17 years now, over 17 years. Oh, what a good wow. Boy. Yeah. Wow. How is the dog? How's the dog's appetite? Like, is he, is he, is he healthy? Nope. He's uh, still eating, but he's, he walks circles now. And uh, I don't think he has too long, but he still likes to, to cuddle. And how did you meet that dog? Where did you meet him? Oh, he's awesome. Yeah, but where he's did you all meet? Like, did you have him since birth? or? I've had him since he was uh, in my hand, in the palm of my hand. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Is that your best friend? He, oh, yeah. He doesn't speak English. He doesn't speak French. Yeah. He only speaks Danish. <laughs> no? Just Spanish? Danish. That's the only name. Danish. Oh. <laughs> Hablas español? No. No, 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 señor. Hello, poquito. Well, guys, I'd love to stay in chat, but 2 a.m. comes at 2 a.m., so I got to go to sleep. Hey, Jeremy, Jeremy. Yeah. Can you get me some lobster? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's see. Maybe, uh, like, 
10 pounds. 10 pounds. Okay. Maybe just a dozen, Lee. <laughs> or just give me a dozen lobster. Yeah. <laughs> well, 10 pounds is usually like 10 lobster. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. 12 pounds is probably 10 lobster. Well, whatever. Just take it. Uh, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Uh, sure, maybe. Fish safe, safe out there. I'm going out like every day, so. Hey, Jeremy. Yo. Is the baby asleep? Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't <laughs> seen the baby yet. It'd be awfully nice to like just hold up the baby and go here. Here, here she I know, is. It's, uh, she's usually in bed <laughs> by seven, seven thirty. So, yeah. she's on a good schedule. Don't want to fuck with it. No. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, man. You'll yeah. see her soon enough. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. I hope so too. All right. All right, guys. Take care. Hey, Jeremy. Uh, let me know. Let me know on those lobsters whenever you get them. Yeah, yeah. You want them to? Yeah, seeing. Uh, I mean, whenever. Jeremy, seeing any whales out there? Um, I I think I saw a minky as when we were setting. Oh, okay. And uh, I went on a boat ride. Um, I was going to fish with another guy on a shetty camp, and we went from shetty camp to Granite Tank. And on that trip, I saw. Couple of porpoises and mink. So there's yeah, I, I saw a, I saw a few minky whales uh, yeah. by the Shetty Cam uh -huh. Island. Yes, uh, two days ago. Yeah, the back end of the island. There's a lot of there's a lot going on there. Oh yeah. You ever kayak around the back end of the Shetty Camp Island? At, uh, no, but that's where I go. That's where I go photograph uh, seabirds. Yeah, it's a good spot for it. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. Okay, Jeremy. Good, good, good luck, man. I, yeah, thanks. Bye. See you later. All the best. I'll hope to see you all soon. Yeah, you yeah. too. See you. Yeah, Lee in a couple days. Yeah, man. Let me know about this lobster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh kayaking around the island, Angelo. When would be the best time to do it? Um, for me Mike. or for you? Or for, for, for who? in general we were we were wanting to do it actually wanted to do it this year but it didn't pan out but uh i want to start planning it shouldn't be done like in one go uh, lee it should be ah. done so you get the whole season uh, i wouldn't do it well, come on why not just do it in one go ready because then it's all going to be the same shot oh yeah what, what are we talking about here? Are we talking about, you're talking about paddling around the island, right? Yes. Yeah. But are you talking about filming it or just paddling around the island? Um, we wanted, we well, obviously wanted to film it. Um, well, not obviously, but yeah. We wanted to kind of like do it. We were going to do it this, this spring. We were talking about it last year and then it just never transpired. So I'm kind of looking at planning it for future. Okay. But, to film it. but Jimmy, Jimmy's saying, well, we should do it in sections and film it in sections with the change of the season. Kind of go around. Okay. Wow. Starting starting with the ice and then and then move through <laughs> into summer. Yeah. No so, kidding. Yeah. Well, the breakup of the ice, not the ice, but the breakup. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I personally would probably shoot for more around the month of August, probably to do something like that. You, the window is really tight. Um, um, because you know, even 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 into June, you can you can get you can get nastiness in June, July, and August are the two tiny little windows that you have if you're going to do anything on a on a larger expedition, like 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 you're talking, um, and then come September you got those winds again, and then you that's you know it's risky business, especially up around like Money Point and Cape St. Lawrence, yeah. Mead Cove. Are those are those the problem areas? Those are the 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 more kind of like rougher areas. So yeah. why why not plan it instead of doing it in, in like in a like a sequence where you, you you do it like this? You can do it because you know, let's say you said September has a prevailing wind, bad wind, for instance. But I'm sure they come from a certain distance or from a certain direction. So you plan it so that certain sections you do in September, other sections you do in June. 
you can put it together that way um, and 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 navigate the places that are like you know uh, I don't know when you would do city camp to uh, to a port for instance right that would be a now it's pretty good now um, but you wouldn't do Cape North uh, yeah. in September for instance I don't know you don't do it in the um, that time of year where there is weather in that section. Yeah, it, it's I guess too. Also, it's a different matter if you're with clients and and you're with experienced people. Um, like I used to take people from Shetta Camp right up around Meat Cove, up through Bay St. Lawrence into uh, around Money Point uh, and down into like like South Harbor area. Yeah, like five days. And then we did the three days, so three days and five days. And and uh, when you get up there and you've got clients who are telling you uh, that they're experienced kayakers, and you get them out in the ocean, uh, and they they they're not, uh, they better learn real fast. And then all of a sudden, you have to take your your skills and your smarts and adapt it to to that paddler because that paddler that said was up here is not up here. It's, that paddler's down here. And then you have to uh, you you have to totally rearrange the group a little bit and the dynamics of the trip a little bit because you know for sure you're not going to be able to make it around the top of the island with this person on the trip. So then, yeah, I remember having a lot of those conversations in my head while I'm on the trip <laughs> how do we, of how we deal with these people. You know, like 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 who shouldn't have been on a trip of that. I think that happens everywhere. I, I, I'll, have, I'll have clients who, who uh, tell me they're very physical capable and then I take them to the river and they're not. Um, so that happens even in fishing as well. Dude, it happens with tubing, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true, yeah. It happens uh, with everything, yeah. Yeah, but because people, it's e more ego leading them. Um, but uh, yeah, so that was kind of like one of the things we wanted to do. There was another one that I was going to mention. Oh, oh, this before I forget, Bryson, let's yeah, let, let's talk about um, doing a tour with you as the host because I I just opened up my license to do tours around. Because um, I was going to talk to you about too uh, this week. I just got uh, open my license to be able to pick off and drop off anywhere in Nova Scotia. Oh yeah, so, yeah. So we can do a Bryson Bryson tour, but with, with the Little Iron Pants van. Nice, that's, yeah. Spitballing, man. Oh, that's all pending, pending the uh, regulations. Yeah, I would say that's a little bit of uh, digress. So out of the conversation, but yeah. But as far yeah. as like the the problem areas around the island. And so, uh, like the the northern tip, like going up around Money Point and stuff, is that kind of like the more difficult sections, or is there? I mean, every section probably has its own its own like ups and downs and mm -hmm. issues. But is that kind of like one of the <laughs> most more trickier sections? Because that's what I've heard from from people, but I have been unsure of whether or not that information was correct. Well, I guess everywhere has their their, their tricky spots. Um, you know, I found that coming around Cape St. Lawrence up uh, just before Meat Cove there on, on the backside it is that for me was a tricky point because you could be paddling in, in 20 knot tailwinds and then come around that tip and then all of a sudden you're, you're in the flats. Like, but it could be the exact opposite. You could, you could have a southwesterly, you're going up nice around the tip. And then all of a sudden you get nailed with a north or easterly coming around Cape St. Lawrence. Yeah. Yeah. I, I always found that to be a challenge. And, and, uh, and I mean, microclimates around on the island and, and crazy weather patterns where you're paddling and then you look up ahead and like, it's beautiful where you're paddling and you look up ahead and then you've got these big thunderclouds and, 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 and you get up the exact opposite. You could, you could have a southwesterly, you're going up nice around the tip. And then all of a sudden you get nailed with a north easterly coming around Cape St. Lawrence. Yeah. Yeah. I, I always found that to be a challenge. And, and uh, 
and I, microclimates around on the island and, and crazy weather patterns where you're paddling and then you look up ahead and like it's beautiful where you're paddling and you look up ahead and then you've got these big thunder clouds and and and, and you hear that okay i i give up <laughs> no i give up. i i I, I was talking and I was sitting here and I, my lips weren't moving and I was listening to myself for 10, 15 seconds. It's like, oh, it was a delay. What did that all sound cool to you guys? Oh, yeah. It yeah. It wow. Fun. OK, here I was talking to my girlfriend while I'm listening to myself talking to you. I'm chatting with her. Just seeing <laughs> what's going on over there, you know? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So okay. This this Zoom thing is really weird, man. I hope it gets back. It's it really get, it gets back to normal soon, so I can see some people face to face and give them. A big and trust me, I've been doing these. Um, I've been doing like I have a podcast that I record, like do one every week. And um, this this week's the last one that's going to come out because the very the one I recorded last week that comes out this week was. Uh, I just ran into so many issues recording it, like audio messed up. And it's the why it's it's the internet connection in Cape Breton, right? So I can't. There's services that are available for doing, for instance, podcasting that I tried out, but because the internet service is so shit, it doesn't even work. So it's so delayed that it's easier to call somebody on FaceTime and chat with them and record the audio than it is to actually record off like professional services because the bandwidth isn't there. So so I'm just kind of like. You know, I'm, I'm kind of fed up with the whole fact that I've got to do this over, over the internet and over clouds or whatever the fuck. And then, uh, but you know, whatever, we'll be, we'll be back to, it's starting to loosen up and yeah. I've been, I mean, luckily, and I guess we're all lucky enough that we live where we live. So we've had some leniency to what we could do. We can all go outside and be in, in nature and not have to be stuck in a condo in, in Toronto and. Oh my God! Could you imagine? I couldn't imagine. Be I had a friend that's in a 500 square foot condo in downtown Toronto with two other people. Oof! <laughs> imagine that during this. No. Oh. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, no kidding. Well, where we all live, we have so much freedom. Like Jimmy can go fishing. He can, and and Bryson can go boarding. Like just out his front door, and he's not going to see anybody. You know, Lee. I don't know. You can go down in the river, and you're, you're you're. We're so blessed to have this this island to be able to have so much freedom. It's not funny. Yeah, and I yeah. think that a lot of, I was talking to a friend of mine today, and I think that a lot of people, um, it's it's kind of like brought to light a lot of uh, like you know what where people live, and um, and they brought to light like you know what if something happens you're kind of like kind of stuck and also like uh, I had a friend today that was like <clears throat> saying that she was kind of like in I'm, I'm assuming what she was getting at was like a mild depression but didn't know that she was in in that until this happened and then she had a lot of self-discovery from being able to be and, and have freedom and she just got so caught up with work and be traveling to work and back from work and getting ready from work and then when she had a couple days off on the weekend she was like trying to get her ready and cleaned and all that sort of stuff so that killed time but now that she's spent more time at home it's been like eye awakening that that she's realized that there's been so much like slowing down in life and not being so fast paced about everything is is something that she kind of forgot about so it's been she was here today. it's been interesting the major it's shift in consciousness piece, Right that cheese. Just give it to her. Like what Bryson's doing right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez, he's creating the whole thing. That's a lot of cheese. It's cheese, man. Oh. <laughs> okay we're man adding, well, we're, we're adding a new character to the mix eh uh, yeah. Wes, are you uh, still yeah. coming this summer what's that 
Are you, Wes, are you still coming? Fishing? Oh, yeah, I'll come up for sure. Okay. Yeah, we've been doing some fishing already. Oh, yeah. Are you learning? Yeah. I'm learning, yeah. <laughs> Not. It doesn't mean I'm good. No, 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 no. I get it. Well, learn how to catch a drone. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That was that was some of the stuff that we were gonna like. I pretty much crashed a drone at, at every location except for Bryson's. Bryson's, I didn't crash a drone there. Um, yeah. During this film, I did one at Angelo's and snapped the propeller off and flew it around afterwards with half a propeller. And then <laughs> Bernie got a caught in the fucking Jim's fly rod, fly fishing in the river. <laughs> and then I crashed it at Jay's into the trees. It costs a lot of money, man. Well, yeah, and then I, uh, and then then I, well, then I lost it in Shady Camp River in the park. I was I was actually up Shady Camp uh, River looking for bears, and I was I caught <laughs> myself looking for your drone as well. It's in name, man. It's in the ocean by now. It's definitely well, in probably, the but who knows if it was like I was I was walking up there and I was like, I wonder if it's somewhere around here. <laughs> imagine, imagine. If, well, I would have liked to have that SIM card. To be honest with you. Wow, I just want the drone. Oh, this guy, uh, John, my buddy Johnson said apparently Bell Fiber Op uh, was supposed to implement, was it implement the area late this summer, but they put on everything. So I'm assuming what he meant by that was that he was they're going to implement fiber optic down here. Yeah, there's a Ooh. there's actually there's actually a bunch of trucks that've been driving on my road here, and I stopped them and asked them what's going on, and they were planning fiber op in the area where we live yeah. in. So it was like, is it because of COVID nineteen? And he said, yeah, probably. Well, <laughs> so uh, maybe said, we will actually have just above dial up if we're lucky. We need to uh, get some sats. Yes, <laughs> man, we love that stuff up here. <laughs> 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 oh my god that's that was beautiful that was freaking beautiful well it's been uh it's been a time i mean i'm not gonna hold anybody too long but um we can like close it out it's been what we on here for an hour and a little over an hour and a half um there's still people watching so that's great uh but uh, oh there if anybody, what? The people that are watching, how they doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, any last comments? If anybody has anything to say that they want to do, if you want to promote anything, uh, let us know. We'll, we'll like kind of start closing it out, but uh, I could stay on here forever, but. Yeah, get up here, man. The Highlands Hostel, we're at the top of the Cabot Trail. We're in the middle of the National Park and we're surrounded by beaches and hiking and it's a good time, man. That's, uh, Instagram is at Highlands Hostel. We got stories every day. And uh, all the photos, everything that you need to see is on there. And we're on Facebook, Highlands Hostel on Facebook. And give us a call, 902. What's our phone number? 383-2371. Oh, my God. What a great advertisement. That was a great advertisement. Lobster, pizza, straight up rum, Highlands Hostel, you know, beaches. Yeah, we hold up to 25 people, but I don't know. We're going to have to cut that in half. Right? Little, little did they know, for all the people that watch the documentary, um, Bryson's cup that he has in the interview is, is Moonshine Smoothie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, that was awesome yeah crazy we just got like we just passed all of our everything our fire code our building code we're all registered we're ready to rock and then covid hit yeah uh, well we got five bathrooms and we got 25 beds so there's lots of space here for you to hide out too i need some white cheese yeah yay <laughs> I'm just grabbing a celebratory shot. <clears throat> oh, That's all I got. Uh, all I got tonight. Oops. Okay. All right, moonshine. 
Nope. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, cheers, you guys. It's pretty good. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, Lee. Cheers, for, everyone. Uh, thank hey, you man, for thank the you, whole thing. Thank everybody that Thanks actually it. accepted to be a part of this because it was a fun project and it was, um, it didn't come with the challenges, but it, you know what I mean? It's just like every project, every idea brings challenges. And I'd like to, <clears throat> personally, I like a lot of challenges. So. This was actually a huge, 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 um, I guess I, I said challenge like 800 million times there in the last minute. So I'm trying to think of a different <laughs> word, but, um, but it, was, it, was, it was a project that like I've edited like a one minute video and like shot a one minute video, but like getting together with like Wes and, and Bernie and, and Carter who was involved with it at the gate and and then linking up with everybody else and then trying to coordinate schedules. It was kind of like a, 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 a crazy project and it all came together. And I'm really, I really hope that it, it, it generates a lot more uh, interest into different parts of Cape Breton because all of us live here and all of us um, operate businesses here. And it's, it's sometimes hard to get the word out, but I mean, out of the gate, the first person that I contacted about doing stuff when, when uh, Jeremy was working for you, a Angelo, and I was mentioning about well, this, the, the original concept of Love Life Intense, which was supposed to be a marketing platform, build events, and Angelo was the only guy out of the gate that would ever give me like a foot in the door or like a commission based fees for booking yeah. them. And that's kind of how that relationship started. And, and then the next year I met Jimmy, and then I ended up. Well, obviously I knew Jeremy beforehand, but then I met Jay through Jeremy and then, you know, this whole snowball and then Bryson, I met at a square dance at Southwest Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> like it was crazy on all these little connections and then everybody started working together. Um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a fun ride. So that's why like <clears throat> people, people ask like, why did you choose those people to be in that film? Why didn't you choose anybody else? It's mostly because everybody had a Everybody either helped me out at one point or gave me, a, or it was a connection that I've made because they reached out to me and we've been working together forever. So that's kind of why the, the people that were in the film were kind of, we used them as like the basis and, and, the, and luckily everybody was characters on themselves. So I just really appreciate everybody being a part of it and giving us their time um, during the whole project, throughout the whole summer. Uh, and then, you know, and then it was all about editing and bringing it all together, which came with some crazy challenges here. I'll never edit a project like this on a sh computer like I have ever again. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Anyways, it all came together and we're here now and we're hopefully it'll, it'll turn out well. And we've got a lot of streams and hopefully this will give us more. And yeah, man, it's been fun. I really appreciate you guys letting me, uh, yeah, uh, join along and film you guys. Where's Bernie? Burn. I don't know. Was he supposed to be here? I think he thing? might be watching it. Oh. Um. What else was I going to say? I, I maybe in the winter we can all get together. Dude, you saw that last summer, and we were meant to do it, but we never ended up doing it. But we'll I do it. I think that'd be cool. So like in the winter, if, you know, maybe. <clears throat> each weekend or whatever it would be that we or every two weeks or something we can go to a different like you guys all come here and then we go and we you know we all spend a weekend at somebody else's establishment well, you're the only one open in the winter <laughs> yeah well that's 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 the perfect timing because we're not busy everyone's not busy <laughs> we're, we're we're actually pretty busy in the winter but i mean we'll we'll make time to come out and Hang out with you guys down there, everywhere. Cape Smoky, yeah. we were. Uh, that's a good place to hang out in the winter. Yeah, because I'm there every friggin' day almost, so that's perfect for me. I just wanted to go. I wanted to go to Angelo's. I want to go and go to Lee's. I want to go to your guys' places and go and stay the night and have some drinks and see you guys and just good guys, eh? <laughs> But like I would say blade that blade it would be in it, it would be in order to have some sort of gathering for sure. Yeah, a celebration that the season's ended. We're all rocking and <sighs> yeah. 
Uh, do you have any more things in your fridge or cupboards that you could put on that pizza? <laughs> <laughs> it's still it's still coming. Yeah, I got I still yeah. got to put. So that. you know, I had I had macaroni and cheese for supper. That's it. <laughs> and yogurt. Well, I've been you have been piling shit on that pizza for on. an hour. <laughs> yeah. Working away. It's going to be a good. What, what is that you're putting on there now? Uh, right now, I'm putting the last of the mushrooms, and then we're going with some uh, some of that red onion and the purple onion, make it give us some color, and put it on top. I got some garlic on there. We got green peppers. We got tomatoes. You're not even done yet, actually, building. No, I'm just getting started. Oh, no, they came on wrong time. Look at that. You got to put these on first. And then <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. That was pretty good there, eh? Yeah. Look at that. It's coming along. It's getting pretty thick. Yeah, that's that That will bake in like two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, we're going to... How do you Unless do it? You just eat it as it is. Nice and slow? Is it, you cook it slow? Is that what you do to get yeah, you, you Yeah, you kind of like smoking it. You just do it on like a 225, 250 low, low heat. Really? For like six no. hours. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> oh man, this is hilarious. Gila. West, uh, what's that uh, painting in the background there? Is that something you did, or your your grandmother? Or... No, I didn't. I I did not do it. It's uh, my my uh, girlfriend's parents' place. So I, it's uh, a local artist. I thought I, I thought that, I thought that was a picture. That's why I put a virtual picture on mine because I was like inspired. Oh no, yeah, I landscape there, Cape Breton landscape. Yeah, I thought so too. I was wondering. I was wondering if, you, if people thought that, but it's actually like a just a large painting behind me that's taken up my entire background. But yeah, it's not yeah. a it's not a screen. Very moody. Yep. My girl. Oh, yeah. Faces are over. Winter. Oh, Fucking oh, snow. Man. Where is that is that a performance headband there uh, bryson or what no i got this headband i've been wearing it the last couple of days just it makes me feel like i'm working out and losing weight you know it's like i feel like i'm always working out when i'm wearing this thing <laughs> <laughs> olivia neutron john right on <laughs> yeah i feel like i'm i feel like i'm working out every day i feel like i'm working out Instead of working out, putting all those toppings on there. Maybe instead yeah, you're of definitely doing some shoulders, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on the shoulders today. And the jaw. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Bryson, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do like a we're gonna I'm done. Right a Bryson hosted tour. We're gonna do Bryson hosted tour, live life in tents, and we're gonna travel around the trail, do the trail, like go to everybody's. We're gonna go like paddle boarding with Jeremy. We'll go kayaking with Angelo. And we'll go shoot some arrows with Jay. And we'll camp in the middle. We'll stay at the Highland Castle. That'll be fun, eh? You good? You want to do that this fall? Let's try to do it. Let's try to sell it. Let's we'll figure it out. Let's we'll figure it out. Hey man. Okay, let's do it. Wow. Yeah. Is Sophia, is Sophia at your uh is she at the um the spot? Uh she came down for a visit um like two days ago. She originally did not have the job uh because she was she's going to university in Moncton and she was gonna take a job there. So since COVID hit, she came back to Cape Breton. Uh she's been here for two months and she came down for a visit just recently. Uh, to see what's going on and I've you know I've already got my people hired so she's she's back in the community and I hope that she can do part-time work with us okay yeah she was yeah. she messaged earlier when I didn't see it so like oh, did she hi Sophia <clears throat> yeah dark hair Adam Young yeah because oh Angela <laughs> yeah it's getting dark. Look, look at my fingers. Right? <laughs> Whoa, ET. I know it's that, really uh, crazy. Does, does like, it, try, 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 try rotating that. 
you know, no drugs will do that for you. Anyway, uh, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. It's just that it got, I've been on this thing for two hours. It's a long time and it's getting dark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, it's been fun hanging out. Right on. Well, we, we'll yeah. see you all later. We can cut this off. I don't know. If I, like, I have nothing to do tonight, so I have no Well, I, I'm, busy. I'm out of here, so. I got a date. I got to go. Okay. Angel. Later. Later. Look at yeah. that. That's like, that's like right. seven inch thick pizza. Oh, yeah. Here, what I'll get is you. going on? Uh, can you, do you have a weight? Do you have like a, a an actual a scale? Uh, scale? It's every time like I that. every time I step on the scale, it says E R R. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> on the bottom of it. <laughs> okay, no, no oil or nothing. No, you gotta put like like cornmeal or something underneath. Cornmeal? Cornmeal? Oh, look at that. We're all big now. Oh. Ho, ho. Usually when we make pizza here, we have pizza music. We got like pizza music going on. Italian? Yeah. Italian like, I, after yeah. I made a list and like all pizza music. I'm asking you who's having drinks tonight. Let's see if anybody wants to have a shot with me virtually. I don't have any. I don't have anything. Uh, don't worry, but I have it. I have it right here. Oh, yummy! Jesus Christ! Not what is that? Uh, contre? Yeah, pretty oh, good God. actually. Damn. It's forty. Orange liquor. Orange liquor. That's like it's that's the line right there. Well, I had it. You know what I had it for? I had it for um, I had it for margaritas when Allie was down, but Allie left, so now I'm just having it. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. It looks like something you stole from your grandparents or something, and then you're drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, uh, what Adam I Young should be. I should probably be watching something on Netflix because that's what I've been doing for about two months. Yeah. How, how are you? Where, where's everybody else in your house right now? Well, uh, the dog, Anton is walking in circles because of his dementia. Uh, Bailey's asleep over there. Celine is in the shower. And uh, the boys are gone back to uh, Halifax. Oh, they went back to Halifax. Yeah. They're, they're, that. So uh, it's Well, yeah. went fishing today for the first time. That was the first day of fishing this year for me. It was awesome. Dropped my phone in the oh, water. Cool. Figured out it was oh, waterproof. Yeah. What is it? You know. Took what, some pictures. What do you have? Saw some birds that I haven't seen yet. Didn't find any bears today. You know what I slept, 10 kilometers. I slept? I slept on my lawn the other night. Two nights ago, I slept on my lawn. Clear blue skies, clear skies. I could see the stars. And uh, not blue at night. What? Oh. Not blue at night. No, whatever. It was a clear sky. Whatever. Okay. We had joy. We had fun. We had Kate Britton in the sun. <laughs> pizza all right like eight inches okay i'm fucking off okay cool man i think we all are okay yeah, let's wrap it up all right well thanks to everybody that tuned in um appreciate you all and uh yeah. we'll see you this summer yeah well, yeah thanks, good guys. luck everybody good luck have fun and uh, we're gonna, are we gonna, gonna go uh are we gonna go casting a little bit yeah, man. Yeah, we're gonna go do a. You're gonna go cast. Well, you just you have to message me first. He's up on the control there, right? Okay. No, 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 no. We're good. <laughs> right, everyone. All right. Great seeing you. Great catching up with all you. Hey, Bryce. There. All the best. Yes. Cheers, Hang guys. Hang on here for a second. Yeah. See you all later. See you. Love you guys. See ya. Adios. Bye. Ah. Uh.
So yeah. So let's do like um Are you opening another bottle? I thought you already opened it. No, it's open. I'm trying to I don't know, I'm trying, I'm trying to squish that in there, you know. Just in case it falls over. <laughs> so yeah. So I've got my band license open, so we can do it whatever you want. Your what what license was it? So so my van, my big van, I've got like um I've opened it up for all of Nova Scotia, so I can do like a, a four or five day tour. Okay. The plan was originally to do like pick up in Halifax, come down to live life in tents, stay here, go up to your place at the hostel and stay there for a couple nights and then go out hiking from there. Okay. So loop around, go to Angelo's and then head back to Halifax. But if you guys are slow and you don't know what you're doing, then we can like program a couple weeks, um, basically program a couple weeks so that it's uh, that's more geared towards people that fo either follow you or whatever. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we can do like, we can pick like, we can pick like certain dates. So we pick like a week in September and a week in October and just try it out. October, I'm gone. October, You're I'm gone. gone. October. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my, I'm planning my event in October. Oh, Danger Bay. Yeah. So we're shooting for we're shooting for Halloween, but I go up there early to set up and do a bunch of that stuff. So. Oh, yeah, okay. So why the Danger Bay night? Well, why don't we just pick a week or, or a week or two or whatever the fuck you want in September and we'll just see if we can sell it. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. Or just one week to see if we'd sell it. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's just uh, see how it looks for us for busyness. I just don't like uh, I like to be, I like to be here when we're busy, right? Yeah, of course. So, just uh, well, I'll just see how busy we are, I guess. Yeah. Hi. Right. Hmm. All right, we'll figure it out, man. I just yeah. rather, like if we do like one, we pick one week and try to sell it. But that's the thing; it's like you don't know whether or not it's going to be busy or not, so you don't know if it's. Yeah. That's the variable. Yeah, I figure out whether or not, and I'd like to be here or not, but um, mm -hmm. figure it out. Yeah, no, we'll keep it solid. It's like even, even, you know what? Even though if it's, even if it's like, um, we we take care of like X amount of days, so we pick people up in Halifax, we bring them down here, they stay a night here, and then they go up to your place, and then you're the host for like two or three nights. Mm -hmm. We can do that. So we're staying at your house, your place. Yeah. It would probably work better for you. Yeah. 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 Because we, um, yeah. Why don't we just do that? Why don't we just do that? You're the fucking host. So we got north. Well, when you guys come, so you guys would just come up here then? Yeah. We come up there, stay there like two or three nights. And then you're the host while we're up there. Oh, that'd be a blast. So you're the basically host, but tour guide. Tour guide. Oh, just for this area. Yeah. But well, we stay at your place. Mm -hmm. We stay there. We bring people there. And then you're the tour guide. And they'll pay as a tour guide. So it'd be completely different. We get like your your accommodations fees, plus you would get everything else. Yeah. Right. Yeah, let's talk about that for sure. Right. It'd be a lot of it'd be a lot of fun. That's what I, you know, that's what I've been doing for the last freaking twenty years is touring. So I've been kind of it's been on the back burner while we've been setting up, but now that we're set up here, and uh, I got my I got a bus that's almost done. 
in Kimberly, BC, and we're gonna have that. I don't know where we're gonna park it, man. Cool. So, the, gotta... yeah, well, you have to look at that. the The thing with that in the East Coast is like it's a completely different process. Here, I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop this uh, live stream. See everybody. Bye. Ah. Oh, how do I stop it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how stop to stop. Like, I just.